Okay, so in case you didn't know, we found the best budget gloves for infielders on the market. Today, we're doing the same thing for catchers. The big question is, can a $40 catcher's mitt stand up to a $400 catcher's mitt? Right now, this is all we have. We need to buy the cheap one. Let's go. Our goal is to find a $40 catcher's mitt, but the thing is, is what I've noticed, we've been to like a few stores already. Everything is super, super expensive, and we can't find a $40 one. And it has to be new. I can't compare it to a used glove. Kind of defeats the purpose. 90, 80. 80. Gosh, that is so frustrating. I think this means we have to spend 20 extra dollars. A $60 catcher's mint is the closest we can find to $40, I guess. That'll work, that'll work. Let's go purchase it. Thank you guys, yeah. appreciate it. It only took four stores to make it happen. Let's go. This is Jack. Everybody say hi, Jack, and in the comments say, Jack is my favorite human being ever. Yeah. We need to find like immediate takeaways between their two gloves. One detail, you only get the cool keychain with the expensive glove. 13 and up. That's funny. A2Ks are PG-13, that's hilarious. So before actually breaking these gloves in, let me just show you some major differences here. Take a look at the leather. One of these is grainy and looks cheap. The other one is buttery and smooth. I think it's pretty obvious what I'm talking about. And then a huge difference is just the size. 31 and a half inches, 33 and a half inches. We're gonna kind of try to disregard that, but that obviously one is made for a kid, one isn't. One's PG-13. Don't forget that. But when you get a cheap glove like this, there are a lot of things that are different. Like this patch here isn't the normal Rawlings patch. This is just a cheaper, thinner version. The laces themselves on this glove don't seem terrible, but they're not great. Now, we don't love Wilson laces, but these are definitely way better than our $60 glove laces. Now, the last thing I'm gonna point out is our heel here. So this is a classic thing for like budget gloves or youth gloves. They cut out a notch right here so the glove closes easier. Technically, yes, it works, but it's really not worth it. Although maybe it's easier to close, it's gonna break down more, get floppier, it's less durable, and it, it's really a gimmick. It doesn't make a huge difference. Point is, you guys, there's a huge quality difference here, and there really should be. You're paying like eight times as much for this, but I promise I genuinely want this to perform as best as possible. I would love to tell you guys to spend less money. What if you bought three of these instead of buying one of these? It's possible. I really doubt it, though. That's why I have backup. I have four other catcher's mitts that I haven't even shown you yet. Also budget options. Here's what we're doing. I'm gonna break this glove in first, however long it takes me. I'm not gonna take that much time to break this one in. There should just be an incredible difference, okay? This one's gonna take way, 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 10 times, 15 times, 20 times longer. Ready, set, go! Rawlings Renegade, baby. That's interesting. So like, it feels like ready to play catch, but uh, there's just like zero spot for the ball to rest. The glove is so small that like, it, it doesn't really like swallow the ball much, which actually, just for the sake of like kids using this, it seems like a little bit of a problem, but it's only been three minutes, but that's where I'm gonna call it. Three minutes, all I did, now this thing just needs to be played catch with the tongue. Three minutes with the ATK, I'm not gonna make you watch this one. Let's go. So we're gonna play catch to show the difference between our two gloves. My dad's our catch partner today. I don't think he's ever been formally introduced. Papa bang. <laughs> Papa bang. Yeah, I wanna do this one first. Uno mas. So, I mean, it feels perfectly comfortable. Besides the fact that it's like obviously small, this is what... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to... Just throw it. That's a catch. Yeah, I mean, I'm barely holding on to the ball, but it doesn't help that it's like 30 degrees outside. <laughs> That's a good pocket. I need to go finish breaking this thing in, plus our other mystery gloves that I mentioned earlier. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. We're gonna use a pitching machine to find out which of these gloves is actually more durable. We know this one's gonna lose, but I don't want it to get kicked out just yet. That's why we're introducing our next four gloves. All budget options, under $200. Very excited about these. Legitimately think that one of these can 100% contest that a word? I think it can compete with the A2K. That's what I'm trying to say. Very hopeful. Let me show you each of these. This here's a Rawlings R9. It feels wide and shallow, and the heel here is huge. The Rawlings Gamer XLE. It has a speed shell on the back, Velcro wrist. Other than that, 
stock catcher's mitt. Mizuno MVP Prime. This one's actually 34 inches, which is the biggest, but this thing is super deep. And then we have the All-Star CM3200. This thing feels a little bit goofy right now. I'm hoping that feeling goes away once we actually break it in. All right, back to the $40 versus $400. Here we go. We got the pitching machine going. And right now I think it's only spitting balls out around maybe 60, like at most. It's, it's really slow right now. Wilson A2K, M23, let's go. Just friggin' beautiful. I do wanna make a quick comment. The Wilson M1D is the last catcher's mitt from Wilson that I reviewed. This honestly feels like a better version of it. It feels like there's more surface area to catch, but it still has that like slightly deep pocket. The biggest complaint I had, everything about the M1D was awesome. It just didn't have a lot of room to catch the ball. This here is bigger. So right now, after a few catches, I know for sure I like this more than our last Wilson review. So good job. One more. Let's go. All right, up next, our Rawlings Renegade. I'm actually shifted over. It's so small. I wanna leave more pocket room here. So there's nothing in the index finger right now. Time to catch some pelotas. Bounced out a little bit. Money. This is making so much more of a difference. Like using the mallet with this thing didn't feel like it did a whole lot. That happens a lot with cheaper gloves. Mallet work sometimes doesn't really change much to it. Playing catch, this is like each catch feels like it's breaking in more and more and more. This just doesn't feel like a big enough of a pocket for a youth player. The youth need like bigger pockets. They're getting used to baseball. And so anyway, I'm not in love with this thing. I'm not gonna tell you to go get a Rawlings Renegade. Catcher's mitt, that is. Uno mas. We're officially getting into the heat test part of this now with the Wilson A2000. It's not an A2000, I'm stupid, dumb, idiot, don't deserve this job. Sweet Mother Teresa. I gotta shift, I can't catch the, the, no matter what, like the glove is still being worked in and no matter what I do, everything pops out. So I'm gonna shift now, two in the ring finger. Let's go. All right, I think that's the difference maker right now. I'm gonna just keep it shifted. They, they wanna come out. I can feel them all, like right on the edge. Yeah, like this is what every single catch feels like. This is really frustrating. Clearly, I need to do just like a little bit more work. But I mean, that's what we're doing right now. That's why we're hitting the pigeon machine. Perfect, decent, bad. I'm genuinely a little bit scared just because we're like going down two inches, I'm pretty sure in size. I'm afraid to get one that like <laughs> it hits here and then hits me in the forehead. That hurt. Just unfazed. This is not working. This is not breaking at all. The Renegade is too good. Yeah, I mean like there's like zero like lace pulling at all. Really? I mean that's how a catcher's mitt should be, so that's good, but I'm genuinely a little bit surprised. Still think it's way too small of a pocket, but that's good. This is taking too long. I'm gonna go up to the pitching machine and just start like dumping them through at like the fastest speed, but I do wanna make a comment. 460, right? Mm. When it comes to Rawlings Wilson, and I would also say Mizuno, they're not charging more money just because they want to, just because they think it would be cool to make more money. They really do make the best gloves out there. And so when you're paying 400 for this, although 400 is a ton, for the most part, you're paying because it's better. It's flat out better. These other brands, smaller brands, things like 44, they make worse gloves and that's why they're cheaper. They're good options, but they are factually worse than this. You can use whatever you want is my point. Wilson, Rawlings, Mizuno, right now those are the top three. They stick out, they make a better product. I'm nervous for your hand. Yeah, I'm definitely shifting. I'm not gonna catch it <laughs> like straight on. <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> just, uh, watch how much it moves my hand. Like get right here with it. I can't, I can't not do that. All right, I do wanna show you guys, look at here. You can see where we're taking impact, right? There's definitely like a pocket forming, but 
No, no laces are bulging at all right now. Look at the back of this glove. Perfectly clean. <laughs> That's like very impressive. The R9 took like half this speed and it was flying through the web, so. Dude, inconclusive. This won't break. I genuinely thought it would. At least have laces pulling back. I thought small parts of the glove would like wear down really quick, but Rawlings Renegade, indestructible question mark? I threw it, but I should, well, whatever. It doesn't deserve that. One more with the A2K and then we got budget gloves to visit. Just to be clear, all these budget gloves came from justgloves.com and they also sent me three of these like body scrubbers. What are they trying to say? <laughs> you smell bad. Can you show me your catches, Matt? Oh yeah. I'm just curious. It's like the Rawlings Premium Series. All right, this is a Wilson A2000 M1D. Do you think if you kept breaking it in more, do you think you would like it enough to use it? Yeah, probably. That's all I need to know. You can keep it. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. What's your name? Jason. Jason, I'm Chris. Mark. I'm Chris. Mark, Jason, you guys are on YouTube. It's officially time for what I would call like high quality budget gloves. All of these, again, under $200. I have the highest hopes for our Gamer XLE, so I'm actually gonna be starting with it. But just to be clear, this one, least hopes. And then we have these two, the Rawlings R9 and the Mizuno MVP Prime. These actually battled each other in our budget glove video for infield gloves. The MVP Prime won because this had balls flying through the web. Obviously it was an infield pattern, not this one, but that's really bad. And the balls were not going very fast. Well, how fast was it going? Yeah, it was like 61, 62 miles an hour. Not fast. Without further ado, Rawlings, Gamer XLE, I love this. Just to be clear, I am going shifted. So I have two fingers in the ring finger. Cool. A lot of pop outs. Pretty small pocket here. Pretty much all these gloves, I'm going with a box break in. The shape of this glove, the box break in is like working great, but it's really shallow and I keep having balls come through here. Look at this. Even when I close, I can still like fit a ball through there. So I'm having that problem. You can pull, most of you catchers out there know you can pull on this string and this to tighten the top of this. This should help quite a bit for this. Let's see. All right, send a couple through. Uh, I mean, it seemed to help, but uh, it still feels like it's very open at the very top. One more. I do know for sure that's gonna go away the more the glove breaks in. These are all not game ready. Really just practice ready, bullpen ready. Rawlings R9, I'm also going shifted with this one. Let me actually show you what happens when I go traditional. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know, it just like doesn't, it feels terrible. The glove isn't like, super stiff or anything. I like have to go shifted to catch the ball normal. There we go. See, that's a true catch right there. All right, I think I'm noticing what's wrong here. Go ahead. When I try to close even, feels bad. One more. When I close top down like this, they feel great. But then this is like that just folding over that like top down. You're just kind of pushing your whole fingers down. Big difference. Yeah, something about closing top down is like much cleaner, but I don't like how much I have to think about that. I'm not in love with that thing. Onto the Mizuno MVP Prime. This thing is like super, super deep. This is also 34 inches, so it's the biggest glove here. Deep pocket's comfortable. It feels really, really, really good right now, but most likely this is gonna break down and like wear down a little bit quicker than our other gloves. Some of you might like that, but if you want a quick transfer, shallow catcher's mitt, um, probably not your best option. The All-Star CM3200. This is our like goofiest feeling glove. The finger pad just feels like messed up. Like see how my finger goes this way, but the finger pad goes the other way. I don't know, man. This feels like a, a real true like youth kind of like 
cheap feel. The other ones definitely have a little bit of like a higher quality feel to them. It catches great, it feels great, but the thing is, is it feels super cheap on the inside. The thumb loop there, it's just one thin piece of leather. My thumb moves around a ton in there. I do not like it. Same thing on the pinky side. And then that finger pad just feels bad. Catches feel really solid, but everything on my like hand feels really kind of gross and cheap. Just to be clear, I put this stuff on every single one of our catcher smiths, just the palm. It's kind of sick for catchers because it leaves like a slight tack to the leather. Actually here, listen, ready? I'll put it by my mic. That's pretty loud. Yeah, so like it has this like tack to it now and it actually kind of, you can kind of feel it on some of the baseballs that you play catch with. So anyway, kind of cool. I love it. It's also a conditioner. I think it's awesome. I really wish I liked this more because like the catches feel good, but just there's like no stability inside the glove. And then like the pattern and shape, it just, I don't know. We need to do a speed round and pick an official winner. I definitely know what I like so far, but it's super close. So let's make this quick so to truly hold these things accountable i'm actually comparing these to our current number one box break and catcher's mint this is number one on the glove list i love it 33 and a half inch rawlings this one's like the gary sanchez model specifically go ahead just beautiful <laughs> i forgot how much i like this all right our all-star let's go Gosh, it's so comfortable, it catches so well. I can ignore the shape. Like, I don't like the way it looks, but I can ignore that. It's the inside of this glove that has like no stability to it that I, I, I have to kick it off because there are better options. They're so close to like a really good budget glove. I feel bad, but I'm sorry, we have to kick it. <laughs> what the? My shoe just went the exact trajectory with it. Rest in peace, All-Star. You actually have one of our top catcher's mitts on our list right now, but that just wasn't it. All right, I'm gonna use the Rawlings R9 again. I'm having a hard time with this one because it has that top-down close. I'm just so unsure about it because it's different. It's different. Very distinct close. Very different than our other ones. Mizuno MVP Prime. I really can't decide which one between this or the R9. Kind of a make or break situation right here. That's like almost impossible to pick. Wowzers. They're quite a bit different. I, I, all I can say is this. Neither one of these has proved more durable than the other. They're very similar. They have like a very different feel. This has like a dry leather versus this is pretty standard normal. I mean, if you felt an R9 before, this is what it feels like. There's just such a big difference in shape. This closes super even, super deep, really comfortable. Some of you are gonna absolutely love that thing. A lot of you casual guys gonna love that. This here, I can't get myself to wear it traditional. Every time I try wearing a traditional, with even that flap closed down, it nothing will stay in this pocket, not even close. But when I go two in the ring, it's money. It's just very different. I, I just can't pick one or the other. You just have to know. You want it easy, no stingers, that's your glove. If you want to close the glove like this, I'm genuinely surprised at how much I like this. We have to do the Gamer XLE. I have such high hopes for this glove. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna remind myself just how much we like this heart of the hide because they look probably identical when it comes to the pattern. Goodness. It's a perfect amount of like feel, no stingers, padded. Dude, I forgot how enjoyable like truly well broken in catcher's mitt is. Okay, XLE. This is big. Our main problem was the top of the web, balls flying through it. 100%, that will be less of a problem the more this glove is broken in. That, that felt, mmm. Back-to-back monies. Three in a row. Four in a row. Five in a row. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so happy with this glove. Okay, both of those hit web. They felt really good. That one popped out. Like I said, these patterns are super similar. I'm gonna go traditional with this, see how it feels. 
That's good. That's good. Definitely have to be a lot more precise. I broke this glove and shifted, so it's a bit of a difference, but I can still use it. One more. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely still use it. Let's go traditional with this thing. Last time I did this, like nothing was staying in the pocket. Three in a row, real good. Let's go, I think this is confirming. We have a for sure winner here. This is half the price, okay? Half the price. I absolutely love this glove. There isn't any major difference. This is an inch bigger, okay? But there's not a major difference between these two gloves. I have a feeling I would pick this one first if I just had the option of the two, but when we're talking half the price, the Gamer XLE is just baller. Dude, let's go. Freaking love it. The M23 from Wilson, I'm really, really loving it. We might have to do a deeper dive because I like that glove. Our R9 and our MVP Prime. No, they didn't win any awards today, but the MVP Prime and the R9, both really good options. You just have to decide. What do you want? You want that really deep pocket, that top-down close? It's up to you guys. But our hands down clear winner today. 150 freaking dollars. I can't get over it. The infield pattern is amazing. I'm confused by the durability and the quality in this glove for that price. But anyway, this is currently the number one box break-in on BallGloveKing.com. Really love this thing. The MT23 might have to battle it later this year. We'll see. Anyway, go watch this video.